Minasan, konnichiwa. Welcome back to my channel. So tomorrow we're going to go to a mountain called Ibuki Yama. This mountain is not the largest nor the smallest mountain here in Japan. However, it is on the list of 100 most famous mountains here in Japan. Now this mountain is located in between Gifu Prefecture and Shiga Prefecture. Um, Gifu Prefecture is Ibigawa and Maibara of uh, Shiga Prefecture. Now what makes this mountain so famous is because of its location and its view that it has over the surrounding area. If you go to the top of the mountain, you can see Biwako, the largest lake here in Japan in Shiga Prefecture's area. And not only that, there's a lot of nature, a lot of critters, um, and uh, it's just, quite frankly, a very nice place to go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this footage, and uh, you sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thank you. everyone so now we're a quarter of the way to the top of the mountain uh, I'm telling you the weather is looking fine finer the, by the minute as we walk as we talk the skies have become bluer and hopefully when we get to the top we'll have some nice views to check out so stay tuned let's keep going All right, so now we're here. We're at the toppest part we can go of our car. Um, yes, this is like the 1500 mark or maybe the 1400 mark. We still have 200 more meters to go to the top of the summit. Now, we have to hike the remaining 200 meters. Unfortunately, it's still cloudy and there are no signs of it clearing up, but I am hopeful that we will see something nice at the top of this mountain. I'd like to share this with you. So hopefully uh, it comes out to a good result. So I'd like to take this chance to introduce you to my favorite drink here in Japan. This is Salty Lychee. Um, it is actually very refreshing, as it says right here in the label. Refreshing. It's salty and it's sweet and it's full of the electrolytes. It's what the plants crave, you know? It gets that reference, 10 points to you. But yeah, this is uh, very good for hydration. It uses Okinawa salt. I don't know if that's a true or not, but it is very yum. If you ever come to Japan or if you're in Japan and you haven't tried this, I recommend this. This is, by God, the greatest thing I can drink on a hot day. Cheers. Let's go. All right, so now I'm heading towards the trail that we have to go up to reach the top of the summit. Yeah, 
can't really see, but it's pretty steep. Konnichiwa. Right, so we're at the top of the mountain now. Um, I've realized a couple things. One, it is extremely chilly up here. Two, um, this mountain isn't 1,600 meters like I thought it was. It is actually, to be exact, 1,377 meters. Uh, yeah, uh, miscalculation on my part, sorry guys. But, you know, this is actually a very nice mountain. Uh, with the fog being how it is right now, it's very mystical, it seems very nice. There's a lot of people here climbing around the mountain with their kids, their family. There's some uh, elderly people here holding hands. It's very sweet looking. I really like that. You don't see that often here in Japan. Uh, it smells sweet. The air is nice. If you're quiet, you can hear this nice breeze. And bugs flying by. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm hoping it clears up. If it doesn't, I'll have to make another video of this in the future. But this is Ibukiyama, guys. And this is a very nice mountain. If you're ever in a Gifu Pre Gri uh, sorry, <laughs> the Gifu Prefecture, I definitely recommend you coming here to visit. It doesn't cost that much money. Uh, if you have a car, if you have likes to come up here, you can either hike from the baseline, which I said earlier was 6,000 meters, or you can uh, take a ride here, which is about 30, 40 minutes from the base of the mountain to the top of the mountain. And uh, the hike from the top of the mountain where you can park your car, uh, as you saw in my previous in the video before this, Hopefully it's behind this video. Uh, it's around like, what, 15 minutes? Not that long. And uh, yeah, you'll feel refreshed. I definitely recommend it. Okay, the sun is shining. There's a patch of blue over there. We might have a chance to see something good. I'm still optimistic. But while we're waiting, I'm gonna just go around here and screw around and see what I can do and have some fun with. So let's get to it. Okay, so these are the routes up to the mountain of Ibukiyama from the uh, parking lot. So, as you saw in my video, I took a shortcut. I took the Chuo to Tosan Michi, which is the center road, center uh, trekking route from the base uh, parking lot to the top of the mountain. This will be around, like I said earlier, about 20 minutes or so. Well, I said I think 15, but yeah, it's around 20 minutes. Now, this is a one kilometer route. This is the west side, that's around 40 minutes. And then the most, uh, uh, what do you call it, treacherous trail with the most bumps and rocks and whatnot that you have to go work your way around is the east side, which is uh, 1.5 kilometers. And that's around a 60 minutes an hour long trekking trail. Uh, now, if you are hardcore, and I hope to be one day, I definitely will take a video of this one day. Like I said earlier, this is around 6,000 meters the bottom of the base of the mountain to the top. And I guess it merges onto the middle of the, the east side trail, or I mean the west side trail. And yeah, I'd definitely like to check that out one day. It looks like a very interesting trail to go by. Could it be, could it possibly be that the sun has shined its glory upon the land of Gifu? Clouds are clearing. Look at this. Look at the horizon. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. So I'm about 30 minutes into waiting. I know this one thing about myself. I'm extremely hungry. Lucky for me, hopefully lucky for me if it's open today, they have some uh, mountain curry rice. The great Ibukiyama curry rice. And I'm actually excited to have this because one, I'm up a mountain. Two, it's Ibuki curry. Uh, curry rice. So let's go see if they're open. Konnichiwa. 
今日は営業中ですかお店の方がもうこれで終わると思って帰らんだなんであそうですかじゃあそば、うん、とかそばうどんとかなんか食べようとしたらダメですかあこれは行くけど行きますかはいこれは大丈夫そばそばそばそばがあのこ,こ,これアイス<笑>アイスだけなアイスできんあそうなんですかえカレーもないんですか今日今日はまだもう降りるで下山するあ悲しいですよ伊吹<笑>山のカレーを試しにしたのに<笑>そこであるんですか駐車場あるオッケー。じゃあせっかくなのでちょっとアイスをいただいてもよろしいですかはいありがとうございます今日どんなアイスがありますかえー、ここら辺この辺のこの辺のああ、黒ごまが美味しそうですけどあれありますかあるじゃあそれお願いしますはいいくらになりますか400円ですか400円わかりましたた今日は残念ですよね、曇ってて、ね、え悲しい、あの滋賀県民言いたかったんですけど、琵琶湖、そう、琵琶湖、まあ、そんなもんですね、またもしかして来週は晴れるかもしれないですね、俺はなんともいいそうね、今、梅雨ですね。はい、はい、300円で、はい、あとごめんはいはいはいあああああるあるあるあるですか、はい、オッケーよしはいありがとうございますはいありがとうございましたはいすみませんはいあ、oh, look at this this is the goma ice cream <laughs> that's sesame ice cream so as the elder gentleman said、uh, they didn't have soba or curry which is unfortunate for me but They do have some delicious goma ice cream. Cheers.、Mm. Oh、my goodness, that's creamy. Creamy and nutty. It tastes like the, the sesame inside it was、uh, cooked or baked before it was blended into the ice cream.
with that one clip to those deer. Those deer are like just magical. If you go to Nara, you can see them up front. But these are yellow-tailed deer. I don't know about the deer in Nara, however. They don't seem to look the same as the deer I just saw literally like just five minutes ago. Those deer are just magnificent. Magnificent. And uh, yeah, I don't know deers make that kind of sound. I don't know if you heard that or not. <laughs> as soon as he uh, called out to his buddy, they ran away. But anyways, I'm descending the mountain now. Uh, I think I took the wrong way. Or no, I didn't. In fact, this is the right way. It's just, it's clearer now. So you look down this road right here, this route right here. And yeah, I did a zigzag motion up here. With the trail down there. I didn't know the parking lot was that close. It seemed a lot further when I was walking up the mountain. <laughs> but yeah, it definitely did clear up a lot, as you can see. Look at that. Wow, can you see that? The sun is shining right off the vehicle's surface. That is just magic. So yeah, this is the, the trail. This is what it looks like. If you're wondering what this uh, rail here is, this is actually um, a motorized rail that carries supplies to the top of the mountain for mer merchants up top selling ice cream and soba and curry when they're in business. This is called a kumabachi. It's called a bear bee, kumabachi. The reason why is because they're huge, huge little bees. <laughs> okay. All right, so that concludes our adventure for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed our content, Please feel free to hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Japan.